Sample 16, a smooth pipe consists of 15 meters of 2 to 5 m diameter pipe followed by 100 meters of 450 millimeter diameter pipe with an abrupt change of cross section at the junction. The entrance is flush and the exit discharge is submerged. If it carries water at 15 degrees Celsius with kinematic viscosity 1 times 10 to the negative 6 square meter per second with a velocity of 5.8 meters per second in a smaller pipe, what is the total head loss? So let's have the figure to help analyze this situation here. So we have a series of smooth pipes, one 15 meters long, the other 100 meters long. Diameter 2 to 5 smaller than 450, the bigger. We have submerged or flush entrance and submerged exit. So K here is 0.5 and submerged exit is 1. Aside from friction loss in the smaller, friction loss in the bigger, and this sudden enlargement, which is quantity V sub S minus V sub big square over 2G, the head loss. So we'll call the velocity in the smaller pipe as Vs in the bigger pipe V sub B. So take note that for the smaller friction and this entrance uh, loss coefficient times velocity head in the smaller pipe, then plus the sudden enlargement here, plus friction in the bigger pipe and submerged exit all functions of the veloc mean velocity in the bigger pipe. So the head loss is Fs Ls over diameter S plus 0.5 of velocity in the smaller velocity head in the smaller pipe plus the sudden enlargement here which is quantity V sub S plus V sub B square over 2G then plus in the bigger pipe we have friction F B L B over diameter B plus 1 because the K here is 1 of the velocity head in the bigger pipe. So that's the total head loss. Now let's compute for the Reynolds number in the smaller pipe, diameters, mean velocity over kinematic viscosity. So Reynolds number in the smaller pipe is 0.225 diameter, velocity 5.8 in the smaller over 1 times 10 to the negative 6. So that's 1,305,000. Then formula for smooth pipe by Colbrook, 1 over square root of F, Fs equals 2 log of quantity Reynolds number square root of Fs over 2.51. Using the calculators, uh, solve for Fs, Fs is 0 0.01113. Then for the velocity in the bigger pipe, continuity equation, 2 to 5 square times 5.8 equals 450 square times velocity in the bigger pipe. So mean velocity in the bigger pipe is 1.45 meters per second. Then the Reynolds number in the bigger pipe is diameter 0.45, velocity 1.45 over kinematic viscosity 1 times 10 to the negative 6. So it is 652500 or 652500. Substitute into this formula 1 over square root of FB equals 2 log of quantity 652500 square root of FB over 2.51. Solving for F sub B, F sub B is 0 0.01254 using the calculator. High tech. Then everything is computed. Let's input the results here. Head loss equals 0 0.01113. Length of smaller pipe 15 diameter 0 0.225 plus 0 0.5 of 5.8 square over 19.62 plus quantity 5.8 minus 1.45 quantity square over 19.62 plus quantity 0 0.01254 times 100 over 0 0.45 plus 1 times 1.45 square over 19.62 which is that so this term is 2.130, this is 0 
and this last term here is 0 0.4058. Combining, total head loss is 3.500 meters. So that's it.